Hello, this is Kenny Moore of TaggedPDF.com, continuing a series of short tutorials intended to help optimize PDF documents for assistive technology and mobile PDF readers by meeting the new PDF accessibility requirements of the 508 refresh. In this video, we will examine another error that can only be detected by knowledgeable human inspection. And the error is this one, complex table header IDs. The category for this error is checkpoint 15 tables. The failure condition in the Matterhorn protocol reads a given cell's header cannot be unambiguously determined. Now this can be caused by several things. In this example it is a complex table that does not have the header IDs properly configured. This video will present this suggestion for remediating the error using Adobe Acrobat Pro and using this example PDF, which if you would like, you're welcome to download and use to practice with. In pack two, I have the example PDF loaded. So I can click start and we get the happy green check mark. This PDF is technically accessible. So just another reminder, pack two is a great tool, but it cannot check everything. The Matterhorn protocol includes 136 failure conditions, of which 47, including this one, require knowledgeable human inspection. So for human inspection, I'll click the screen reader preview button, and I'll expand things out a bit, and scroll down. And we can see that we're dealing with a complex table in which a number of the data cells span multiple columns. And the table looks to be well formed, uh, doesn't seem to be any missing cells, but PAC2 does not really have a good way for me to check that the headers for every table cell can be unambiguously determined. So for that, I'm switching to PAC1.3. This is the predecessor of PAC2, and it is obsolete for automated accessibility checking, but it is the only free tool that I know of for easily checking the association of table header and data cells. So I'll click the preview button, and I'll need to allow blocked content. I'm going to turn off semantics, and then I can mouse over any header cell and it highlights the associated data cells. So this table is using the header scope property, and that would be uh, perfectly good. It would work perfectly well for a simple table in which every row has the same number of columns, and every column has the same number of rows, and the column headers were at the top of the table, where they typically are. Uh, but the header scope property doesn't work for a complex table. And I can see this if I mouse over the first column header, track one, the flying circus. All the rows below it are highlighted, which is fine, but I want the three rows above it also to be associated with that header. And if I move on to track two, the Holy Grail, and track three, the Life of Brian, thing, things are even worse. It's just not correct uh, at all. So the header scope property is not working for this complex table. I need to instead use header IDs. In Acrobat Pro, I'll select the touch up reading order tool, which I have pinned to my quick tools toolbar. And it always opens this big uh, dialog box that is just always seems to get in my way. I don't like it. And uh, I always just close it back down. And then I can right click anywhere on the table and select the table editor. Then for each header cell, I need to reset the scope property and assign a unique header ID. So I'll start with track one. I'll right click table cell properties. I'm going to change the scope property to none. And I need to assign a unique header ID. In this case, I'll just call it track one. I'll click OK. I'll do the same thing with track two, right click table cell properties, set the scope to none, and the ID in this case to track two. And 
OK. Same thing with track three. Scope to none. ID to track three. And click OK. Then I need to do the same with the row headers. And I'll just do the first uh, couple. So I'll right click uh, 0830, table cell properties, scope to none. And the ID in this case, I'll use 0830. And 0900, right click table cell properties, scope to none, ID 0900. Now for the first of the data cells, I'll, I'll right click registration, select table cell properties. Now I want the registration data cell to be associated with all three of the tracks and with the time 0830. So in the associated header cell IDs box, I'll click the plus button. I want track three, track two, track one, not 0900, but 0830, and click OK. Now I need to configure the rest of the row headers and the rest of the data cells. And for that, I'm going to pause the video because even for a modest sized table like this one, it's going to take a few minutes. So I'm back and you can see that this is not a very big table. But even so, assigning all of the header IDs and then associating those with uh, all of the data cells, it took me about 10 minutes. So for a large table, one that goes on for pages, or for a document with many complex tables, this can be a very time-consuming process. So if you deal with a lot of PDF accessibility remediation of complex tables, you may want to evaluate an advanced tool like uh, NetCentric Common Look. Uh, if you're like me and you encounter a complex table just occasionally, uh, it is practical but a bit time consuming to remediate in Acrobat Pro. Uh, now, as always, I'm going to save the remediated PDF as a new file name. Just in case I mess something up, I want a way to uh, be able to revert to the previous version. Back in Pack 1.3, I'll load the remediated PDF and click Start Check, then Preview. And again, I'll need to allow blocked content, and I'm going to turn off Display Semantics. So the table looks the same, but now if I mouse over any of the headers, nothing happens because the scope property is no longer used. If I mouse over any data cell, the associated headers are highlighted. So for example, if I mouse over registration, uh, I can see that it's associated with all three of the tracks and 0830, which is uh, beautiful, uh, exactly what I wanted. And I can go on and check each of the other data cells and make sure that it's associated with the correct header cells. And this all looks good. It looks like we have a 508 compliant complex table But just to be sure, I'm going to check the remediated PDF in Pack 2. Just want to make sure that I didn't mess something else up while I was working on it. And here's our good friend, the happy green check mark. This PDF is technically accessible. This is Kenny Moore of taggedpdf.com. Thank you for viewing this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. Please feel free to contact me using the Contact Kenny page at tagpdf.com. Accessibility is the right thing to do.